and I am back with another model review video. I know it's been a while, look, I only have a limited amount of models to review and a lot of commentary style videos to make. So please grin and bear with me, my aviation fans. I'm very sorry. But today we are reviewing the Skyworld Boeing 707-320C. Don't ignore the price tag. It, it costed me a pretty penny. This is not my newest model, by the way, but yeah. I don't regret anything. So, here we have the tail of the aircraft with the old Pan Am globe. I could, I am taking a guess that this plane belonged to Pan Am, guessing on the logo and etc. The plane's registration is November 454 Papa Charlie. There's not much detail, detail on the plane and it doesn't have a flip cover, but what I can tell you about the 707 actually, give me a second. I have actually do have a few other 707s, so if I can I can get some data off of one of those boxes. So let's get to one of the other boxes here. My Northwest Orient 707. And it will give us some data. So the plane is able to the plane's powered by four Pratt Whitney JT 3D engines. Uh, I don't know when this plane was built, but I'm guessing in the 60s. Um, and then there's also details on the Boeing 707-320, including passenger count and etc. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the model itself. So here we see the nose details. We've got the little black nose rims. We've got our little windshield wipers. I think we have windshield wipers. Let me just make sure of that. Come on. Can you zoom in anymore? I don't think it can. Yeah, we do have some windshield wiper details. Yeah, we do. Then we have the... Got the L1 boarding door. Skyworld logo. It's a very 1980s looking logo, so I'm guessing this is a charter company. The American flag with our overwing exits, our blue little engines with our wingtip lights. No extra details, then we have the rear word L2 door, the registration and the tail with the little tail prong thingy. By the way, again, I've mentioned this before and I'll mention it again. Always be careful if you have a 707 model with the tail prong because on the older models it's plastic and is more brittle and even on the newer models it's fairly brittle. So, just saying. So we have pretty much the same detail here. Yeah, there's yeah, I can confirm when she'll de wiper details. Then we have the R1 door, the catering door, Ford cargo door, little, little windows, Skyworld logo, the American flag, wing lights, overwing emergency exit trails, um, engines, wing tip lights, and the R2 catering door with our co rearward cargo doors and the American the registration and the logo. By the way, I had to glue the piece of the tail back on, so if you see any griminess near the tail, that's why. I don't know also why, but there's also this weird little triangle thingy near the nose on the above the cockpit. I don't think because of my bright I can't you can't see it. Yeah no actually now you can see it now that I moved it a bit out of the bright. But yeah Got our forward landing gear, a little bit of detail, our forward corridor, and some sensory details as well, our little pedos on the sides. Got some other sensory details, the forward cargo door, the landing gear doors, this is a little dim here, Gemini Select logo, not Gemini Jets logo, it's Gemini Select. I only have two Gemini Select models by the way. Um, no underwing details other than the ones that are engraved, including the slats and so on. Then we have the our rearward cargo door and our um, baggage door, and no APU. The not that it really matters. Again, seven O sevens didn't really have an APU unless it's like a KC one thirty five or modified Air Force version. But anyway, that's all I have to declare on this model. I hope you liked the video. Please do like. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment. Trying to hit. 200 subs by the 9th of November and I'm 7 subscribers away so get me there as soon as possible it will be very nice. Have a nice day. Peace.